Hello there. This is Vinita Tavranangya reading my column Ozone for the Times of India. Adopt a short story a day. It is critical to keep the mind alert and engaged. Reading short stories is a great way of staying entertained and connected to creativity. When you don't have too many distractions during work from home and are saved the grind of daily commute but are also bereft of friendly engagements and leisurely conversations as we have been this last year it is natural to start worrying that your growth is on halt such a fear paralyzes me as i do believe that our greatest duty to ourselves is to keep evolving keep learning something new all the time and an important way to ensure that is to be connected to creativity to create or to immerse yourself in the creation of another mind be it a good book a great movie a piece of art poetry a short story a ted talk or a podcast anything meaningful and beautiful enough to engage you with intensity such an engagement is as important to me as breathing but there are times between good books or movies when i start feeling at a loose end some days ago when i found myself in this state i decided to slot certain activities that engage the mind and imagination as daily musts i eyed my husband steadily solving his daily sudokus and decided that this should be one morning activity for me too to keep the mind alert and fresh done He was assigned the task of providing me with one sudoku each morning. I am at it. Around this time, along my way came a wonderfully thick tome of Irish short stories edited by Sinéad Gleeson. Now, I have been a supporter of this literary genre and deeply regret its diminished significance. Novels have taken up all the space for fiction in today's literary landscape. We have very few exceptional short story writers left across the world with most awards recognizing the long form of fiction and the best seller lists also edging out collections of short stories magazines which once encouraged short stories stopped doing so long ago so writers are only left with the option of publishing anthologies i resolved to not call it a day till i read one short story at least no matter whatever other book i'm reading or any movie i may watch that day some of the world's best and most memorable pieces of writing are short stories how can anyone ever forget once read o henry's the gift of the magi or the last leaf or guy de maupassant's the necklace it is the short story form that made them the legends these are Indian language literature boasts many short story writers Munshi Premchand Sadat Hasan Manto Rabindranath Tagore R Chudamani Kamla Das Ismat Chuktai Amrita Pritam Raskin Bond Anita Desai thousands of gems to enlighten your mind and spirit Short stories can we unforgettable life lessons very effectively focused and succinct as they are At a time when we struggle with short attention spans and limited time, what better than a short piece of fiction? If well written by a master storyteller, most short stories leave you thinking, with vignettes lingering in your mind and imagination for days after you finish one. And that is the state you will find me in these days. Thank you.